This is my April unbagging of Ipsy, as you'll recognize the little pink bag, and then the review of March. So let's get started. It feels pretty full, which is nice. And first of all, we are on Beautifully Bohemian. One thing I don't like about Ipsy, and I've said it more than once, is that you don't get a product card. So, but you can win some other things. Now, here's your bag. Ooh, this will make, I think, a very nice summer to go. It'll match almost identical or very close to my summer bag, actually. I have this kind of pattern on the side of it. So, and I like that it's a zip from the top. So, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, big product. Rocky, it's a blush. I don't use a blush normally. May give it a try just because I haven't used any. I'm gonna have to break. I can never get these things open on camera. There. It came out. It's tightly in there. It's obviously, let's see, I think it's a tango, which to me means kind of corally. Let's see if I can get this one open. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely a coral. Hmm. Like I said, I don't use blush very much. But that looks, yeah, because I already have a lot of red on my face anyway, and so I usually try and hide it all. So then to put it back on just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. So I will probably be giving this away to a staff person, but it looks really nice. So we're not having too good luck this time around. Oh, here we go again. Nude, mini nude eyeshadow. And I don't use eyeshadows. I have a dry eye syndrome. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to open the package here. There, oh, it just opens like that. And so I'm wiping my eyes a lot anyway. And this is just, even if I did, the sparkle in here is just not my color. <laughs> I would not be utilizing that at all. It looks nice in the pan, but there is a definite sparkle. So this again will be going to another staff. And this is why I'll probably be, when my Ipsy runs out, I probably won't renew. But I do get a nice Julie nail polish. And I do need to do my nails, as you can see. I think it's a dark pink. We'll give that a go. That's a one. Chlorine, oh, we got foreign language here, I think. Laboratories, chlorine. It's a dry shampoo. I have very short hair, so I don't really use a dry shampoo. I just get my hair wet every day. I just let it air dry. Natural curls come out. But I do like to use it on the weekends to kind of organize my hair before I go work out. And then I come home and take the shower. So I do use it for that regard. So I'll give this a go. So two out of four so far. What we have here, a little tin of all natural tinted, tinted what? Tinted lip. The writing is so little tiny tinny that I can't read it. But I think it's probably a lip and cheek. I can read it now, a little lip and cheek balm. I normally don't like it when they combine them because they taste kind of bad. To go on the lips, see if I can get it clean. Just like a balm, there's no, even though it's colored red in there, it doesn't seem to come across as anything. If you saw my hand, it just comes across clear. Plus, I don't really like pots, but I might try it on my lips, see how the taste is. 
I don't have anything on my lips right now, so let's... Yeah, I'm not too crazy about the taste. I'll give it another go here when I'm not rushed and everything. So that's a maybe, two yeses, and two noes. 50%. So, like I said, when mine runs out in June, I think it is, I won't be renewing unless they give me some kind of fantastic deal. So that is April's. Let's move on to... Marches. Now I I lost all my notes, my cards. So and there was one product I couldn't find, and that was the Dr. Brandt Pour No More Anti Aging Lotion. I used it up obviously, and then I must have thrown it away instead of saving it. But it was it was all right. I don't remember any woohoo yay. I just used it up. Now Dr. Brandt was the one who passed away recently, so in memory or remember him in your thoughts and prayers. So now Pearlese, I thought when I first opened this last month that it was another lotion. But what I found out reading it closer when I went to use it was that it's actually a cleanser. Now the lotion is very drying on me, but this cleanser, I'm really liking the cleanser. So I hope to get more of these kind of things. The cleanser, the lotion, not a fan, but I really like the Cleanser, it keeps your face soft, easy to put on, easy to take off. Now here I got another blush last month, vintage, didn't use it. Um, I don't use blushes. Like I said, I'm usually trying to hide all the red on my face, not add anything back in. So this will be a giveaway for staff. And this is NYX Butter Lipstick. I was concerned about the color because it, it says on the bottom it's a bow... Go see. And, but when you actually apply it, it doesn't come across as red as um, it does in the pot. So it's an okay red. Um, I will use it and use it up. It keeps my lips butter soft. I really like using it, so I will use it up, but I won't be repurchasing. Not this color. The brand, yes. If I can find a good deal on it, I definitely will repurchase it. The last one is a Boo Boo Cover Up. One tiny, tiny little tot is all you need under each eye, and that's it. And it does cover up. Um, I prefer the one I use, the Maybelline I use, but this is okay. I'm going to use it up. It's going to take me forever. One little tiny tot. This is going to take me a year. It'll probably go bad before I finish using it up. So if you want something, I don't know what the price is because that's another thing they don't do with the product card is prices. Um, but I probably won't get this simply because it'll probably go bad before I use it up. But it's a good concealer. So if you're looking for one, go ahead and give it a go. So that's the March products I got. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, comment it. Uh, share it with anybody. I'm looking for subscribers. So anything you can do to help me out, I'd surely appreciate it. Thank you.